what to do if you think you've caught coronavirus and top tips to hasten your recovery. Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and OnlineFirstAid.com. And I'm going to go through the very latest government advice um, for the UK if you think you have got coronavirus. Okay, so how would you think or recognise that you've got coronavirus? Well, first of all, if you've got a new or um, persistent cough, so if you've got an existing cough that you've had for a while, then that isn't a way of recognising it. But if it's a new persistent cough, and if it's accompanied by a fever in excess of 37.8, if you feel flu-like, achy, shivery, um, absolutely rotten generally, I know obviously these symptoms can go through a scale. Some people are barely affected by it and some people are knocked completely flat. But the key things the government and Public Health England are telling us to look out for are a new persistent cough and a fever in excess of 37.8. Feeling rotten and feeling a bit breathless and tight in your chest. Now what you should do is self-isolate for seven days as it's for these existing initial seven days that you are at your most contagious. Only phone 111 if you get substantially worse. If you need medical help for another medical condition or if symptoms get worse or you start developing new symptoms because what tends to happen is that most people get better within five days but for some people after those five days they get new symptoms or get substantially worse and that's when they start to develop this pneumonia and the pneumonia can be very serious and the pneumonia is what can prove fatal so key thing to do isolate yourself rest let you your body heal itself sleep Drink lots of fluids, lots of hydrating fluids, avoid alcohol and avoid um, caffeine containing um, fluids as well because they can actually dehydrate you. And the key thing is you want to keep as hydrated as possible because with a fever, you will be sweaty. And if you are sweaty, you are losing fluids and losing fluids and getting dehydrated can make you feel absolutely rotten. So keep your hydration up. It'll also keep your mucus a little bit lo looser as well. And um, take medication um, if you've got some. So that might be worth stocking up on a little bit of flu-like um, remedy, um, possibly some cough mixture. If you're expecting a dry cough. Um, and that dry cough can keep you awake at night and it can be really irritating. Um, so it's those sort of things paracetamol, ibuprofen, if you've got those aches and pains, that will help. So keep hydrated and prevent the spread. Um, if you've got other people looking after you, they should try and stay at least two metres um, away from you. And if you're coughing a lot and you have people that have to come into your room to bring something to you or whatever, so you can't get out and just grab it from outside the door, then considering wearing a, a mask because that will help. If you are coughing, it will help prevent them from catching it. If they are looking after you and for some reason they have to come and do more for you um, so that you can't do as much for yourself and obviously keep that isolation if you possibly can, then it's a good idea for them to wear a, a, a mask at that point because it's like that nurse patient um, environment and that will give an extra degree of protection if you're wearing a mask and they're wearing a mask if you know that you have the signs and symptoms of coronavirus. Open a window, get air circulating in your room but don't be directly in a draft because that can make you feel pretty rotten as well. Don't put too many warm clothes on and try and sweat out a fever, that's not a good idea. Neither is it, is it a good idea to sort of get into a cold bath. Um, let your fever go through naturally. Um, some people find a cool wet um, flannel is quite soothing and that can bring your temperature down a little bit, but not that all over bathing um, that we used to do when I was nursing in order to bring down that fever. We're not doing that anymore. So not in a direct draft, but in a well aired room 
avoid going into public areas as much as you possibly can so that means that keep yourself to your room if you possibly can if you're able to sleep in separate beds that's even better and separate bathrooms even better still but either way segregate your towel your toothbrush and um, keep everything to yourself during that seven days when you're likely to be contagious um, We've got a separate article about people caring for others with the coronavirus, so that can be found on onlinefirstaid.com. Um, but we've got more information about what to do if you think you've got coronavirus on First Aid for Life. I hope that's been useful. Please share if it has, and we will keep things updated as things change and Government and Public Health England advice changes as well. Stay safe. Keep isolated um, if you think you have symptoms. Look after older and more vulnerable people if you can. And um, good luck with the coronavirus. Thank you for listening and please share if it's helpful.